Getting money to buy a house means you have to have a, some sort of a savings plan in place. You are going to have to have probably at a minimum these days about 3.5% of the purchase price of the house that you're looking at, upwards to 20% you can put down on the house. But mostly people do it through saving money. So when you met with the lender, that's one of the first things we recommend you do is meet with the lender. And again, they're going to pre-qualify you. They're going to tell you how much you can spend not how much you have to spend. So let's say they tell you you can spend up to $200,000. we are going to look for homes. You, you may tell us you want to look for homes in a range of one hundred and twenty to one hundred and sixty. dollars um, Knowing that you can spend two hundred, dollars but you're comfortable at the one sixty dollars price with what the payments are going to be. So the lender is going to look at all your financials. They're going to ask you to fill out an application, uh, either in person or online. And they're going to tell you what your payments are going to be, then while once you find a house, we're going to go back to the lender, tell them exactly what house you found. Then they will work behind the scenes while we're working on helping you purchase the house. They're going to be um, going deeper into your financials. They're going to be looking at more of your bank statements and financial statements and credit cards that you have, any debt that you have. And if they find that by the time we're ready to, to close on the property, that there aren't any other concerns that they have, and that the house appraises. The house needs to appraise for how much you're going to, to, to borrow to spend on the house. Once that appraisal is done and they've done all their homework behind the scenes, then the lender is going to say, okay, we're good to go for 160000 and then we close on the property and they put that money into the account so that you can pay for the, pay for the house. Um, as realtors, we are part of the National Association of Realtors and we take a sworn oath to uphold a code of ethics through that. And we also have a, a duty to our clients. Um, we sign paperwork that says we are here for your best financial interests. And what are some we're of gonna be, We're going to hold your information confidential. Let's say we know you're willing to pay 170 for the house, um, but you want to offer 160. We're going to keep that confidential. We're going to fight for your best interests when you're purchasing a property. And that we do, we sign a, a document that says we owe that to you. And for most people, especially when it's the first time, they've never done anything like this before. All the terms and all the vocabulary and all of that stuff is new. So we're there to explain everything. Um, and no question um, is a silly question. We're open to it because if it's the first time or the fifth time, there may be things you just want to know about the process. Words we throw around, words like a HOA and escrow and and nobody knows what those mean except for us, so we'll explain it to you.